Jesus Christ is Lord, yeah. Jesus Christ is Lord, yeah. If it is all, I would have told you. But see, you first the kingdom of God, and everything has been added to you. But see, you first the kingdom of God, and everything has been added to you. Few days back, Ice Cube was walking around talking about, you know, the gatekeepers, okay? The gatekeepers, the people that are in the club, people that are not in the club. If you're in the club, they protect you. If you're not in the club, they don't protect you, sort of things, right? Well, there's a, there's a circle. There's a few people out here that, that run the world, okay? That people that run the world. And uh, the circle is pretty small, okay? But under the circle, okay, people that are beneath the circle are kind of attached to that, to the same type of people, right? So if you do bad things, you could go to jail. But at the end of the day, you they will let you out, okay? They will let you out without they, with no conviction, okay? It's just what it is because they look out for their own people. They may keep you in jail for a little bit just because they don't want people to be like, yeah, why did you get out, blah, 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 all the noise, right? They may keep you in for a little bit, but then after that, they all they still gonna let you out. Why am I telling you this? Because this video of uh, of uh, the truth is the truth is the link to his channel is in the description. Shout out to shout out to him for this video. I haven't watched this video. I'm gonna watch it with you guys, and I'm gonna tell you what I'm thinking. But what I was just telling you, the case with why uh why NW why NW Melly. Watch this video, and you will understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know I mean, make sure to put God first, Jesus Christ is Lord. You get what I'm saying? If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure to go to the truth face, subscribe to his channel. Yeah, I'm saying. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Guys, I hope all is well. Thank you for joining me for this Truth Talk episode. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about YNW Melly. Let's get right into it. The YNW Melly trial has been going on for the last couple weeks, and so much information has been revealed during the trial. What happened on that night is becoming more and more obvious, and the evidence is painting a clear picture of what happened to the young victims. To many at this point, it's appearing like YNW Melly is guilty and is hard to deny. Like I said in the last video I made, to me, it's obvious Melly is guilty of these crimes. We spoke about his music video for his song, Murder On My Mind, and how the music video foreshadowed Melly's eventual ritual offering. Knowing what I know about the use of occult symbolism, I knew this video was connected to what happened that night. Many people believe that because this song was released before Melly's two friends were taken out, that it proves this song is not connected. That's a mistake that people always making nowadays, right? For example, many people that... Ha um Many people, many things that happen in this society, okay? It was already predicted in the movies, in the cartoons. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Many, many, many things, okay? For example, like Donald Trump, before he became president, it was predicted in the cartoons long, long, long time ago, okay? Uh, uh, Bruce Jenner, before he became a, a, a woman, it was predicted in the cartoon long time ago, okay? Uh, uh, Kobe Bryant, before he died, it was predicted in the cartoons way back, right? Dude, I can go on and on and on and on and on. Because I'm going to put it like this, right? The devil knows what he's going to do. Okay? Not, well, he knows what he's going to do, but just because God doesn't do anything about it does not mean, like, for example, God would know, God knows what he's going to do. If God let it happen, it is because God knows that this is going to lead to this and that's going to lead to that. And then the devil is going to fail, right? But the devil knows what he's going to do. So most of the time, they put, they hide the truth in plain sight. You get what I'm saying? Do not say because this was before, it doesn't mean that it is not connected. No, sir. No, sir. Pay attention, people. People have eyes, but they don't see. They don't want to see. I put it like that. They have ears, but they don't want to hear. They are blinded by the God of this world, which is the devil himself. You get what I'm saying? Pay attention, people. Pay attention. The thing is, with the amount of occult symbolism in the music video, it clearly tells the story of what happened. Melly ritually offered his two close friends for several reasons. One of the main reasons is greed and manipulation. Listening to the evidence presented at the trial and also spending a good amount of time researching into Melly, I believe I have an idea of what might have happened that night. On October 26, 2018, YNW Melly and a few of his friends were at the studio into the late hours of the night. At the studio session, Melly was accompanied by YNW Sack Chaser, YNW Juvie, and YNW Borland alongside a few other friends. According to the evidence revealed during the trial, at some point, Melly's friends were starting to fall asleep at the studio. So around 3 a.m., they all decided to leave the studio. Surveillance footage shows the group leaving the studio entrance and making their way to two separate vehicles. 
YNW Melly, Portland, Sack Chaser, and Juvie all walk towards a red SUV with YNW Portland getting in the driver's seat, Sack Chaser in the passenger seat, Melly sat behind the driver, and Juvie sat behind the passenger. The car then drove off into the night. Shortly after the drive began, chaos erupted. Now from the evidence the prosecutor presented, this is what I believe happened that night. While in the vehicle, Melly waited for his two friends to fall asleep. When they fell asleep, Melly pulled out his piece and pointed it towards Sack chaser, letting go at him taking him out. Then Melly quickly turned the piece onto Juvie, who had woken up due to the loud bang, and Melly then let go at Juvie as well. According to the prosecutor, Juvie had defensive wounds on his hands from when he lifted his hands to either fight back or plead for his life. According to evidence at this point, Melly and Bortland began to stage the scene to make it look like a drive-by. They parked the car at a chosen location and began to spray it up to make it appear like they were in a drive-by. After this, Melly and Bortland split ways, with the prosecutors claiming that Melly stood on the side of the road, allegedly texting fellow rapper Fredo Bang, asking to be picked up. At the same time, Bortland was making his way to the hospital with the bodies. Hospital surveillance footage then shows Bortland arriving at the hospital in the same red SUV they all left the studio in. And it also shows Bortland running out of the car, running into the hospital, then quickly running out. In my opinion, the prosecution presented plenty of evidence that should prove Melly was at the very least lying about his involvement in all of this. See, the prosecution presented phone GPS location data, proving that Melly's phone was in the same area of the vehicle. They also showed the footage of Melly getting into the red SUV, which would put him in the car. They also revealed that the bullet trajectory evidence showed the incident all happened from within the vehicle. They also showed evidence proving that the victims were already gone by the time Melly and Bortland staged the drive-by. While all of this evidence seems to paint Melly as the obvious suspect, what I believe the prosecutors have been failing at is identifying the motive. See, the prosecution hasn't presented a believable motive for why YNW Melly wanted to take out his two close friends. According to the prosecution, Melly did this to further his ranking in a gang, but that's not what I believe. In my opinion, I believe Melly was trying to further his career and up his wealth. Well, the thing with this is this conspiracy is that you, you cannot prove it in court, right? You cannot prove that in court. That's a that's a that's a problem with it. You can say he did that because blood sacrifice rituals. Well, you cannot prove that, right? <laughs> if you cannot prove that, you have nothing. It's not about what you know. It's about what you can prove in court. You get what I'm saying? This is crazy. YNW Melly is an obvious occultist. Just with the symbolism found in the Murder On My Mind music video, you can see that Melly was involved in the occult. There's many reasons why I believe this was a ritual sacrifice, starting with the time and date this all happened. According to the authorities, YNW Sack Chaser and Juvie were last seen at 3.20 a.m. This means this entire incident happened during the 3 a.m. hour. We already know 3 a.m. is the witching hour, an important hour for occultists. Occultists believe during the witching hour, they're more connected to the spiritual realm. On top of this, this situation happened in the month of October. October is again associated with the occult, yeah. not only because of Sam Samhain, but because of the fall. During this month, the pagans will make sacrifices to the god of death in hopes of being blessed with a good harvest. This is exactly what I believe Meli did. He allegedly took out his two close friends around 3 a.m. in the morning in the month of October, all pointing to a ritual offering. Then the very next year, Meli is collaborating with Kanye West. That's What's big. even crazier is that after Meli was named as a suspect, his song and music video about taking out one of his friends <laughs> took off to a whole new level. Yeah. I believe this entire situation was Melly being initiated. Melly had to make a ritual offering in order to be initiated, and that's exactly what he did. I believe there's several reasons why Melly chose to take out Sack Chaser. One reason is that it appears Sack Chaser had beef with YNW Melly's mother and was allegedly threatening her. Two, Melly and Sack Chaser had had a fight a couple days before the situation where Sack Chaser knocked out Melly's goals out of his mouth in front of Melly's girlfriend. Just think about it. Melly was embarrassed by this man in front of his girlfriend, which possibly made him a target. But I believe the main reason Melly wanted him out of the way was because of money and lots of it. See, Melly didn't create the YNW brand. YNW Sack Chaser actually started the brand and Melly was a part of his crew. It appears that Sack Chaser had Melly in contracts and also owned either part of the YNW brand or all of it. 
This is where I believe Mr. Officer Francois gets involved. In my last video, I spoke about how YMW Juvie's father believes a 100K track, otherwise known as Jameson Francois, Francois. was involved in all this mess. What well, Francois is a, it's a French name, okay? Francois, it is French. He believed the 100K track was who allegedly persuaded Melly to do all of it. Why do you think that this happened? Why do you think, you know, Melly did this? Because, you know, Melly is on trial. The state has to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt that he committed these crimes. But why do you think this happened? Um, I think the story about the 200,000 with Anthony was a true story because it's not reported. But Chris told me the same story and also the $500,000 play. And Melly was going to get 200,000. Zach was going to get 200,000. Chris was going to get 100,000. Now, as I'm hearing it from Chris, it was going to sell the YNW brand, not a record deal or nothing like that. It was like for the, the brand itself. By them being founding members, they would get a piece of the pie. So I think, I don't, I don't think Melly did it on his own. I think that manager guy got in his ear. I think that manager guy got in his ear and did a little divide and comfort. Because if it was up to sack, no, it would never be the 100K management. Because if it was up to sack, no, it would never be the 100K management. They were going to sell the YNW name or licensing or sell products? What do you mean they were yeah. going to sell the name? The marketing, licensing, stuff that they didn't want to go up on the big umbrella just to push them, I think. Push the brand more global. That's what I'm thinking. And so you think that Melly wanted a bigger cut of that then? Was there any sign of bad blood for your sons? Was there any tension there that you knew of? Not, not with Juvie, not with Chris. Um, you know, you heard things about him and um, Anthony getting into altercations about uh, disputes about money over, over certain situations. And they got in a fight prior to that. And they said, like, you know the story that they said um, Sack beat him up and knocked his goals out in front of his girlfriend, like, Two days later, I think that's when the incident happened. This makes so much sense to me. Jameson Francois would have had the most to gain from all of this happening. This exact quote was even stated by YMW Melly's lawyer. Jameson Francois with the missing. He's the manager who had, I think, $16 million in his account. If anyone had a load of in this case, it would be Jameson Francois, possibly. See, according to YMW Juvie's dad, Sack Chaser didn't get along with 100K Track and actually seemed to be in disagreement with him when it came to the business side of things. Since Melly was contractually obligated with Sack Chaser, 100K Track needed his approval for anything relating Melly. During 2018, Melly was going up and opportunities were being presented to Melly worth millions that would have had been split with Sack Chaser as well. And depending on how much percentage Sack Chaser had over Melly, that could have been millions of dollars. It was revealed during the trial that 100K Track had a business account for his artist with over $16 million in it. If Sack Chaser was still here, he would have been owed a percentage of what Melly had made and was continuing to make until the contract was over. This is why I believe Melly chose Sack Chaser, and I believe Juvie was either on Sack Chaser's side or just at the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, if Sack Chaser out of the picture, no one can stand in the way of 100K track getting what he wants from Melly. It's clear to me Melly chose to ritually offer his two close friends because he had millions to gain from it. This is why after his friends passed, Melly was able to secure a feature with one of the biggest Masonic puppets in the industry. This also explains why even though the defense doesn't have a solid explanation for all of this, Melly still wasn't found guilty. The defense wants the world to believe that sometime during this drive, before everything went down, Melly stopped on the side of the road and jumped in a different vehicle. According to this witness, the defense called on, he testifies that he remembers when the car he was in pulled over to let YNW Melly in that night. Even though the witness didn't state this when they were interviewed originally, he is now claiming that Melly was picked up before everything happened and that he wasn't in that red SUV. When the witness was asked where did they pick YNW Melly up at, he responded by saying he doesn't remember. The defense was also trying to convince the world that Melly wasn't the one using his phone that day. They claimed that Melly's phone was a part of a family plan and that for whatever reason, Melly and all his friends would swap phones routinely. This made zero sense to me and just made them appear more guilty. Now, it was recently revealed that even though the evidence was clear cut, somehow the jury couldn't come up with a decision, so the trial ended in a deadlock leading to a mistrial. 
This doesn't mean Melly would be free, but it does mean that Melly, for whatever reason, wasn't found guilty. Yep. At this point, it is obvious why MW Melly took the oath and is being protected. With the amount of evidence presented, that's exactly what I told you guys earlier. So when he say he took he took the oath, for those that don't understand what he means, it's like when you join in the circle, okay? When you join in the circle of uh I'm not gonna get too deep because they're gonna give me a strike again. Pretty much when you join the circle that Ice Cube was talking about, okay, the club that he was talking about is uh you when you join them, because they run pretty much everything, so they can protect you when you take the oath is agreeing that you're going to be part of them, that you're going to do the things that they tell you to do. Therefore, they will protect you. You get what I mean? That's what he means by taking an oath. It's not possible to believe that Melly wasn't guilty. Melly was smiling in court with a sinister grin the whole time. He was expecting <laughs> this. Like I said before, I wouldn't be surprised if Melly is found innocent. And I believe this mistrial is a setup for this to happen. This mistrial is going to lead to a second trial where chances are Melly would be found innocent. He is likely going to walk free and be received by hip hop fans as a hero, even though he offered up his two close friends for fame and fortune. There should have been no reason a decision couldn't have been made. This proves this is all a part of the show. Well, Shout out to the Truth Face for this video, people. Shout out to him for this video. The link to his channel is in the description. Y'all can click on it. Go straight to his channel and watch his videos. He got some cool stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. What do you guys think about this, man? Comment below. Comment, comment, comment below. Check out all my links that are in the description at the top of the comments. Check them out. Check them out. You know what I mean? I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to put God first. Jesus Christ this Lord. You know what I mean? I'll catch you. I'm out. You say it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I would have thought you were sick. You're first. The kingdom of God and everything else. Be added to you. But sick. You're first. The kingdom of God and everything else. Be added to you. Sick. You're first. The kingdom of God and everything else. Be added to you. But sick. You're first. The kingdom of God and everything else. Be added to you.